Hey guys, what's up? It's me again, Tom from TTT Tom's Tech Time. Today, I want to show you how you can actually calibrate the IMU of the DJI Phantom 4. It is simple and doable, no worries. But before we actually get started, don't forget to leave a thumb up and to subscribe. That is your chance to never ever miss any upcoming episodes anymore. Stay tuned, enjoy the episode. IMU stands for Inertial Measurement Unit. It's kind of like your phantom's brain. A lot of information gets compiled and evaluated inside the IMU. The IMU calculates and knows whether the phantom stands still and hovers or is in motion and whether the phantom is balanced or not. A wrongly calibrated IMU can cause the phantom to drift away for example even if the pilot does not touch the remote control at all. After you unbox your Phantom, you want to perform a new calibration as the Phantom had to travel a long way since it was packed back in factory in Shenzhen. Next to that, it is recommended, though not a must, to calibrate the Phantom after a new firmware update. If your copter needs a long time to warm up, maybe even several minutes in IMU calibration can solve the problem quite quickly. And finally, you can solve several other problems such as the tilted horizon problem or other smaller errors when calibrating the IMU correctly. At first, we want to make sure that we cool down the Phantom. Remove the battery and let both copter and battery cool down for at least 20 minutes. But don't get too crazy and put it in the fridge for example as the moisture and the super hard temperature drop can cause serious damage. Put it in a shadowy place and you will be fine under normal circumstances. Meanwhile, we can look out for a perfectly level surface. And when I say perfectly, I mean perfectly. And not only because I'm German and precise. Because if you calibrate your Phantom on a scoot surface, it will wrongly adjust its sensors and think that it is stable in air when actually leaning to one side, which will then cause the Phantom to drift in air when you let go of the sticks. Right now that we are about to start, make sure that your battery has at least 50% power left. Once we are ready to go, we connect the remote control with our mobile device and open up the DJI GO app. First of all, we tap at camera to bring up the live view even though the copter is not connected yet. Once the live view is up and running, we tap at the drone looking alike icon at the top to open up the MC settings menu, the main controller settings menu. Next, we click at advanced settings and next, we tap at sensors. We are now almost good to go. Insert the battery into the copter and turn it on. Give it a second to start. As the IMU gets warmed up immediately after switching the Phantom on, we want to tap at Calibrate IMU and start calibration right after the copter is connected to our mobile device. Both IMUs are being calibrated by now and the entire procedure is going to take approximately 5 to 10 minutes. No worries if the camera tips over or changes its tilt angle, that is completely normal. Make sure you don't move the Phantom meanwhile, you don't walk around next to the Phantom, you don't hit at the table or cause any other vibrations that could interfere with the calibration. Let the Phantom do its thing, lean back and enjoy another cool episode of mine and be an even better pilot afterwards. Once the procedure is completed, we restart the copter and check the accelerometer and gyroscope value. If both are displayed green and the values are as close to zero as possible, you are good to go. Or at least almost, because after calibrating the IMU, it is recommended to calibrate the compass as well. And of course I created an extra tutorial on that topic, feel free to watch it, a link should be available by now. If you can't see it, scroll down and you will find it down in the video description. 
Thank you guys for watching this awesome episode. Don't forget to leave a thumb up right now. And next to that, you can join my Facebook group, facebook.com slash group slash Tom's Tech Time if you want to get in touch with the most awesome UAV community on the globe. And next to that, if you want to support my work, you can check out tomstechtime.com slash donate and leave a PayPal donation. If you want to support my work for free, you can check out tomstechtime.com slash deals. And if you purchase your DJI gear through clicking at my link, I get a small commission and can that way continue shooting awesome videos like this one that just helped you, hopefully at least. Uh, thank you for, guys for watching. This was Tom from TDD Tom's Tech Time. Over and out. Stay tuned. Fly safe. I was in the fast forward mode.